And now to election matters. Governor Nason Wiki of River State says himself and his allies, better known as the G5, have not struck a deal with any presidential candidate ahead of next year's election. Now the G5 have been at loggerheads for the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar. In the wake of the party's presidential primary, Wiki, who lost to Atiku, believes the process was unfair. And the five governors maintain that the PDP national chairman, Iyocha Ayu, a northerner, must resign. Now, since the crisis, there have been speculations that the group has backed a candidate for the presidential election. But the former Minister of State for Education has waved off the reports, describing them as untrue. In 2002 and 2003, one president, Olusegun wanted to run for second tenure. A whole president wanted to run for a second term. He knelt down before his vice. He knelt down before his vice presidential candidate, a uh, vice president, and said, My vice, please allow me to run. You know the condition he gave him? One of the conditions, you know what he gave him? Tony Anini must be sacked as Minister of Works. And Tony Anini must not be the President of Campaign Council. Obasanjo obliged and sacked on another minister of works and removed him from the presidential council and brought him back to South South. And people are talking. This is a president, a president. His own vice giving him condition. A retired general. He knelt down. My vice, please. Allow me to run for a second tenure. And he was given conditions. This one, we are not even doing that. We are not saying, sack this one, give what No. We are only saying, by the constitution of our party, by what the national chairman said, and by what you told me in my house when he came to see me. Now you have gotten the president. We are not fighting about it. We say you have taken, we don't want to fight. Okay, give us the national chairman. And you say, no, we will not listen to you people. Don't give us condition. Something that is touching on the foundation of the unity of a country. In